I, I saw out the corner of my eye say Mrs. Shanice is getting it on right now. You must be a magician because I didn't see you drink. Go ahead. Oh, really? Yes. She, she comes here every year. You know, but I'll be very honest with you, right? Yes. I felt like I've lived in Europe for too, too long. Much We've all too long. You know, I've overstayed my visit and it's not like it's the first time that I've wanted to leave but everything has always been about money. That you know? those people is nothing about me. That's all they're about, money. You know? Money and power. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that stuck in the UK and I'm sure in other parts of the world, America, Canada, the Caribbean, that want to leave. You know? And it's sad, yes. It's always the money that's stopping us. And you know the saddest thing is, right? We have been encouraged, right, not to like Africa. To think that <laughs> it's the land of the forsaken people. Yeah, the curse. But yet still, when you go around even the Gambia, you will see the whites have the most beautiful homes. Yeah. Yeah? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Don't come. They tell you don't come. Exactly. They've been telling us since we was kids. You don't want to go over there. You know? And our and our, the people will eat you. Exactly. You know? And and when we're in the UK, right? One of the things they like to say back in the days, yeah? And I will tell you guys the story, right? My aunt, when she first went to the UK, she was in her 20s, maybe 27 or so, yes, and at that time there was the racism in the UK, it was really over the Richter scale, wow. and one of them looked at her and says, go back to your jungle where you came from. So that's, and, that's what they say. Yeah, and I'll never forget this, you know what she said? She says, the jungle that I come from, every tree top has a shower. Yeah. <laughs> because in the UK, back in the 60s, they had no baths in their houses. We had to go to public bar if we wanted to bathe our bodies. Really? Yeah. Wow. So she's letting them know, yeah, the country I come from is poor, but there is not a house that you can go that does not have a shower. Yeah? Even if it's a little bored one. <laughs> it's there. Yeah? Because we know about IG. Right. And that's the truth. And as much as they try to take away from us, and they have taken a great deal from us. They have. Yeah. And especially when I'm in the Gambia and I see these tall, dark, beautiful, handsome people. Yeah? Both the men and the women. And then when I look at myself and some of my brethren and sisters, I said, boy, they really rinse us out, you know? <laughs> right? <laughs> You know, <laughs> they yeah. done their best, but we still here. They did. You know, they can't get rid of the men in jeans. It's too strong. They have tried. And when we come back, we get better. Yes. Yeah. You know, and I have to say this. You know, about Boris Johnson, right? He's been saying stuff like build back better. No, right? You say what? <laughs> build back better. Yeah, we know that's a load of bottles. Exactly. Yeah. So I say, build black better. Yeah. So thank you, Boris. You know. <laughs> We're gonna do just that. No, no, that's exactly what we have to do. We have no alternative. You know, and we have to. Do it. And you know, the good thing about the diaspora coming over and stuff, right? Is that. 
we ain't saying, and we know we're not better than the people who is in Africa, because we know we're Africans. But the thing is, we have to teach each other, right? There's a lot of cultural things that we need, yeah? And there's a lot of other things about the Western culture that they need to know. And this is where we come in. Yes. That's the only way. That's right. And like I was saying, you know, you've got some people, right? They will look at you. I mean, black people. And they will say, I'm not African. I'm Jamaican. I'm Trinidadian. I'm American. I'm Canadian. I'm German. I'm British. Yeah. 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 But at the end of the day, when we're in the UK or when you're in the States, they treat all of us the same. Yeah? They don't care. And they let you know. Yeah, that's right. And now that I'm not in the whole just cut it off, right? I mean, so talk to me. Yeah. Anyone chained together? Or I eat local. I actually love it. Okay, get on. Oh, okay. But he said, anyone chained together, we're of the same tribe. Exactly. Because when they were on the boat, yes, I remember that. Whenever the wrestler, he was saying, um, you know, we need to get together. We need to find out who's Mandingo. And everybody learned the language. Next yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody yeah. chained together is the same tribe. Yeah. So we're all one village. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and that's the thing that we have to um, translate into this 2021. You know, I know there's quite a few Americans, black Americans, who are learning Swahili. You know, and teaching their children. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. Because we need to be able to communicate with our brothers and sisters on the continent. And we need to have one unified language. So wherever we go on the continent, or wherever our children go, right? We will all be able to communicate. You know, that's very important. And that's something the African government must implement. Yeah. You know? Because they, when we first got here, and we, I thought the children would learn you know, the language here in school. No. There's only English in the school. And that's not right. And I, yeah, I mean, English, come on now. You know, this is Africa. We're on the continent. I think every language that we have around the world should be taught in each school. I mean, whether you want to learn it or not, it's up to you. But it should be there. That's what I think. I'm in agreement. Right. Mm -hmm. And then they learn English so they can speak you know, throughout the world. But they have that, they have at least those three that they And that's how you transmit your culture. You right. Through so your language. Exactly. Not through someone else's language. You know? They took that from us. They knew that reason why they took that from us because we were together at the time. Once they took that from us, that was it. Yes. Yeah, because man, I'll be one thing I have to say, you know, about certain people who shall remain nameless. Yes. They do know how to create divisions. Always. That's, you know? That's, that's all in them. Yeah. Been with them. Yeah. And they still do it. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they don't find any oil, you know, in the Gambia, because you know what happens. They're coming. They, you, you will be somewhere else. Yep. Maybe we might all end up in Tanzania, because right now that's looking like the best country to be. Tanzania, I don't know. They say you can't own land here. Yeah, but at least they, you, you don't need to be um, doing the PCR test to get oh, in Yeah, that is true. That is you know? true. See, they haven't locked down their society. So Gambia just started back to people, you know, and I heard wow. that in um, Ghana, the president of Ghana saying how much batches of this vaccine. He got, yeah, I heard that. You know, I mean, I can imagine our people being running away from it to come to Africa to have to face it. You know, it ain't going to be nice. No, it's not. You know? Not, uh, it's people in not even, that's my fault. People in not even. That's why I know the fact that it's in the know. We have to let our brothers and sisters know what's up. Sister, to me.
to me. Anyway, I'm gonna leave you guys. Excuse me while I like my space. <laughs> thank you, thank you, yeah. <laughs> yes. She got on a Kroger vest. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw. I said Kroger's. The cook. This boat looked like it was a leaner a little bit, so I'm going to step to the right. To the right, to the right.